I'm at Oakley Motorcycles near Maidstone and I was invited here uh, to, to give a talk and it's their ladies day today so uh, I'm here supporting them and going to sell a few books which is also good. Highlight of today personally was Elsbeth. I have read her book, I think she is just totally amazing and an inspiration. Easily for me personally, uh, the biggest highlight was listening to Elspeth Beard's uh, talk and having the opportunity to speak to her personally before and after her, li her little speech there. And just to hear her story firsthand is quite remarkable. So for me, yeah, definitely a big highlight. Highlight of the day uh, would have been to sit down and, and listen to someone talking about their inspirational life. Elspeth was, is an inspiration. Um, so yeah, that's been really exciting. My highlights from today have been definitely meeting Elspeth. I think she is a fantastic woman and I find her book so inspirational and I cannot wait to go and show everybody my signed copy of her books. My talk today was about a round the world motorcycle trip which I did from 1982 to 1984. I spent just over two years riding a, uh, my BMW R60 stroke six around the world. I suppose primarily I was trying to escape. I had recently broken up from, uh, with my boyfriend, who I was madly in love with, and I was halfway through my architectural training and had ended up with a really lousy degree, so I decided I needed to get away. And I wasn't sure, I, I was at a sort of um, crossroads in my life, really, of trying to decide what I wanted to do next. So I thought a motorcycle uh, journey around the world would help me um, sort out uh, what I wanted to do. I think the three biggest challenges on the trip was keeping my bike going. When I started the trip my bike was already eight years old and had 45,000 miles on her so she was a fairly well used um, bike you know right at the beginning of the journey. Um, so I think it was keeping my bike going was one of them. Keeping myself healthy was um, was pretty, uh, uh, which you know wasn't easy at times, uh, travelling through certain countries. And I think staying mentally strong uh, was very important. I think you you have a lot of challenges on the road and travelling 40 years ago it was very different to what it is uh, today so you have to keep focused and um, yeah so I would say those were the, the three most difficult things. I think the biggest takeaway from my trip was that there, I could do anything there wasn't anything I couldn't deal with there wasn't a problem I couldn't solve and it gave me the confidence really to take anything on in life, which I think is an incredibly useful um, thing to have.